right well I'm here with a piece of my own equipment I have had this forever this is uh, uh, an echo yeah everything's cracking apart already I believe it's the a GT 200 R and you can see it's been sitting for quite a while but it is old old I mean I've had this for years and years and years and I got it second or third hand at that right <laughs> and I just keep running it um, this time I think I'm gonna put a new uh, fuel filter I'm gonna go ahead and just put a whole new kit the carburetor fuel lines and a spark plug and see if we can get this sucker running again um, I'm kinda leaning towards this one because it's lightweight um, I mean it has the curved shaft can you see that not my favorite, but, but you can see it's lightweight, easily, easily movable around, and I have to have that given that I'm just getting over uh, back surgery, right? And I'm, I can't lift anything that heavy. Uh, this is no problem. Or if I go electric, right? Um, which I have a couple of snapper, uh, a weed eater and a blower. But I have no battery and charger for it, and, uh, and those those were what the Briggs and Stratton or the Snapper uh, 82 was it 82 volt massive battery, and they're I, I guess they're rarely used. I'll have to take a look at it, and uh, but they've gone sky high. Even the third party ones are they're hard to get. Uh, well, I can get them, but they the price went skyrocketing. Uh, but we'll see, you know, I, I might be forced to go electric just for the lightweight materials, right? Might, uh, lightweight equipment, and I can easily move, maneuver it around, and uh, it'll be easier on my back. But in the meantime, I'm going to get this joker running uh, and catch up on some yard work. So, um, it's fairly easy to do this. I'm trying to uh, I want to get this done quick. Go ahead and pop these off. I'm gonna make sure everything is correct size. Um, is that the correct size of grommet? This one actually looks a little bigger. We'll see. lines actually they they still feel good they're not cracked they're still pliable here's the uh, carburetor something uh, but yeah I always make sure make sure it has this same fitting up at the top a lot of times um, on the other models the the carburetor looks exactly the same except for the fitting here and on those you slide it in it has a nut that you put in there and tighten it up this one it's just uh, just putting that on
slide that in, pop this into place. See. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm fumbling around I'm just trying to get this lined up on the on that receiver end. There we go. Should pop down. Now this you screw in and out to adjust your throttle linkage. And that looks about right. So I'll just leave it the way it is. Let's see, should I... Uh... You know, I think I'm going to save this for a customer's uh, Echo. I think he needs the same one. Um, and I'll just keep my old one here because that actually that they feel fine. They're not brittle. They're not cracked. Good. Has a filter with it. Um, gaskets. Let's put a new gasket on there. This one actually looks fine too. God, this this thing has just been through it, but uh, I say it's worth fixing. You know what I mean? Just get a carburetor refill kit, put a new spark plug on, keep it for another season. I mean, this thing is old. biggest thing when you're putting the fuel lines back on this is the orientation so this one back here is your intake that uh, with the filter and everything down here and then this one's the return or drops back out so just don't get those mixed up but other than that It and make sure it's doing fine. There it goes. Good. And that's the deal with this one. Um, it wasn't even circulating fuel through, so there was something wrong internally on this one. Uh, looks like that solved the problem. Let's go ahead and put a new filter on it. Let's see, I was going to do the spark plug, just because. It might still be good, but I'm still just going to go ahead and put a new one on. Yeah, it's an NGK. Replacing with the HIPAA. Let's see. This is a BPM 8 
Y BPM R eight V. Whatever. Yeah, those NGKs are actually pretty good. Spark plugs. All right. Well, that's that. That was quick and easy, huh? Let's uh. No good. But I'll save the other stuff for that customer of mine. I know he needs the new fuel lines and uh, and a filter for him. So that came in handy. Let's see if it'll crank. Uh, choke is on. faithful well that was worth it so <laughs> it didn't take long at all did it just make sure you pop everything in right and uh, and old faithful here it's good to go I guess now I need to do the yard but uh, well I guess that's it if you have an old echo like this and you're wondering if you should if you should you know get rid of it and get a new one man this old stuff is working pretty good just uh, just take care of it, you know, give it a tune up, put in a new carburetor, fuel lines, spark plug, you know, and uh, and make sure your uh, fuel mixture is correct and it should last a long, long time. But, uh, well, I guess that's it for this one. So, I guess that's it for this video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch my next video.